All right, everybody, here we are. We're going to be playing the next scenario in Pathfinder Adventure card game. And today is the, ooh, the Halls of Seduction, baby. And let's read what the flavor text said. It said, the seven wings of Runeforge are each controlled by powerful adherents of Faslone's deadly sin magic. Take drink, take drink, take a drink. Within the wing devoted to the sin of lust, ooh, the sadistic Mistress Delvahine seeks to control all who trespass upon Rue Forge's hall. And look, it is Carmen and I. Check it out. We're going awesome. in there. And uh, Marissa's all like, I want to hack you down. And Valeris is all like, where's the beer? There's babes already there with wings. Okay, so uh, we've got our locations all set up here. We've got the Iron Cages of Lust, which were in the Fifty Shades of Grey movie. Uh, we've got the Shimmering Veils of Pride, the Academy, and yet the Throne Room. Now, I noticed right off the bat that this location here requires to succeed at a Charisma or Diplomacy 12 check. That's pretty high, but I have the Crown of Charisma in my deck. Well, here's the thing. What, what if I start here, though, and if I don't have it in my starting hand? So I'm thinking I'm going to start over here at the throne room first because it does say at the start of your turn you may recharge an item to draw a card. So possibly I can recharge items to be able to get through uh, my deck, possibly. I don't know. This I mean, it's charisma and diplomacy as well. But it's yeah, but it's only a six. It's only yeah. a six. So I'm going to start in the throne okay. room. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking I'll start in this. Um, shimmering veils of pride. Okay, and then that would require a wisdom and per or perception twelve check. Right, so because I do, which it's not in my hand, but uh, you know I've got a blessing that adds two wisdom checks. So. so I am five cards. I am two weapons. I'm an armor. Come on, crown of charisma. Three weapons, and so I didn't draw a single item either. So I can't uh, even recharge anything, so that's not even going to be a lick of good there at that stupid place. But hopefully by the time, um, you know, we need to go here, I'll have the Crown of Charisma in my hand. So, hey, you ready to go? All right. Bam! Why don't you start us off, girl? Well, actually, wait. Let me go first. I'm sorry, because we will trade the camera back and forth. Oh, right, right. So, right. all right. So, let's flip my first card, and it is a mummy. Hey, hey, with the mummies! And he is a combat 21. The mummy is immune to the cold and poison traits. Add 1d8 We'll add 1d8 to attempts to defeat the mummy with the fire trait. Ooh, that's good. Because if undefeated after the encounter, bury this, bury your discard pile. I don't have a discard pile. So. All right, so add 1d8 to attempts to defeat the mummy with the fire trait. Well, that's good because bloop, I can use this. The flaming Rancier plus three. It says, for your combat check, reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die plus uh, 2d4 plus three. You may additionally discard this card to add another 1d10 with the fire trait. If you're proficient with weapons, blah, 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 blah. If you fail a combat check with this weapon, you may discard this card to ignore the results and re-roll your dice. You must take the second result. So I I'm thinking we're definitely going to use this. So that's 2d4s plus 3. So that's not fantastic with the 2d4s. Um, but I will also get my normal d10. Where he is. Okay. And we will... Um, use my ability to add another d10 but remember i don't have to discard this um i can actually shuffle it back into my deck if i want or even recharge it but because it does have the f fire trait i get the uh, d8 as well so we'll add that there too uh so we're going to for at the moment just put this on the bottom of my deck I and recharge it is in trouble are you my mummy so um, that was a plus three on that card. Plus I have my plus seven. So now I'm plus 10. So he's a 21. I would need an 11 with a one, two, three, four, five dice. Um, I think that's going to happen. I think I like my odds. Math is hard, though. All right. So, yep, he is totally dead. So I am sorry that you're dead, but you're dead. So we're going to put you over here in the 26. dead pile. Yeah, that, that might be enough. Yeah. Now, um, hmm, if I wanted to... Breastplate of Fire Resistance, uh, it's not, may, uh, if you're proficient with heavy armors, you may recharge this card when you reset your hand. Maybe I should recharge this when I reset my hand, and that way I could try to get to my Crown of Charisma. What do you think? Is that a good idea? Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to shuffle that weapon in right there, then I will recharge that, then I'll draw up. Okay. All <laughs> right, let's see what I got here. 
Oh, one thing we need to make sure we note is is that um, our little location or thing here says that if you do acquire an ally, you do reset your hand immediately. Oh, okay. So keep that in mind. Well, this is not an ally. This is a potion of healing. It's an intelligence craft five. A potion of healing is kind of nice to have, but I really doubt that I'm going to roll a five. So I guess we'll just see what happens. <laughs> so my intelligence is a D6 plus one. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. No, it's not. That's my wisdom. My intelligence is even lower. It is a D4. Uh-huh. <laughs> Roll it, dude. And you got a five, so is that enough? That oh, is wait, enough. Wait, no, I rolled the wrong thing. I wasn't to... paying attention. Well, so you can't even get a five, silly. Oh, yeah. Three. I got a three. <laughs> so that there goes you on. go. All right. Exciting time. I think I was confused because this card adds to a perception check, and usually intelligence and perception go together. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's do my blessing, the blessing of the gods. All right. And then I drew up a lizard and uh, another weapon when I reached set, so. Ooh, I am the greater Luxstone. Discard, discard to add two to your check. If you would fail a check by two or less, you may bury this card to succeed. Well, that's kind of cool. My goodness, it's a Wisdom Survival 5. Ooh. I don't think that that's very good odds for me to be able to pick that up because my wisdom is not very high. What are you, mister? Will you stop making a glare? I hate having to use these sleeves on these cards. <laughs> my wisdom's a D4. This ain't happening. What about the sage? Doesn't she add to something? She does. She uh, recharged this card to add 1D6 to your non-combat intelligence or wisdom check. Ah, okay. I think we should try it, man. So, so let's you recharge her. in a D6 and see what All happens, right. huh? <laughs> And a D4, and a D6, Let's and do this. I need a five, baby! Woo! Woo! Yeah. Chaka! Chaka, 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 chaka! That goes in my hand, baby. Okay, so as much as I... Oh, guys, check out the lizard I got because I did the uh, ally thingy. So uh, discard this card to succeed at a stealth or survival check. Discard this card to explore your location. That was from the last um, scenario. I uh, did allies to be able to draw one, and I got a lizard! And flew the blessing of your Uh-huh. You ready? Let's see what I got here. I have got a Sin Spawn Axeman. He is a 19. The Axeman. Uh, let's see what he says. Damage dealt by Sin Spawn Axeman is increased by 1d4 minus 1. Yeah, well, he's not going to do any damage to me because I'm going to take him out, right? So I'm going to kick his butt. I've got my dagger plus 1, which actually... Is not my best weapon. I'm not sure why I kept it. Because I only get a 1d4 okay. instead of a... Usually I get a d8 with most of my weapons. I could have had a so, d8. Okay, so then I get my d12. Where's my d12? Uh, Here it is. There you go. Uh -huh. For my um, dexterity. And I will, I will remind everyone that my dexterity is already a plus 3. Yes, um, so you're plus 4 then. Okay, and then I've got my snakeskin tunic, which adds a plus... Let's what? do the... Yeah, that's, <laughs> it's a plus one. <laughs> so now you're plus five, I believe. My dagger is a plus one. Did we get that? Yes, yeah, so you're, you're five right. now. I'm at a plus five now. And then I'm going to take this holy candle because we really don't need it at the moment. And I'm going to recharge it to add a d6 plus one. So you're a plus six, I believe, then? Oh, I'm actually recharging that. So let me. I started to bury it. All right, so we have... You're at plus six. Plus six. So let's and do this. And that means you need to get a 13 to be able to get him with those three dice. 13 with three dice. Ooh. You can do it. Let's do it. You can do it. Unless you want to go ahead and get her. It's, is it ranged? No, it's not ranged. It's not ranged, so it doesn't help. All right. All right. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Back on. So the bye bye. Six -ball go bye bye. Okay, let's go to my turn and I flip over the blessing. And flip. Oh my goodness, it is the Lord Demon Sister. This is a henchman and she is sexy, even with the horns. Okay, so it says the Alu Demon is immune to electricity, fire, and poison traits. Succeed at an arcane or divine 10 check, or you may not play any spells. Oh no! If undefeated, she takes no damage. Instead, bury a blessing of your choice from your hand or bury the entire hand. It ain't going to matter. All right, so she is a combat 17. I ain't going to sweat this one. Come on, guys. Combat 17. Marisol wants to know if she's sexy. She wants to come over here to your location. 
You just stay away. Uh, let's see. Let's use the short spear. It says for your combat check, reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die plus 1d6 plus 3. You may additionally discard this card to add a 1d12. So let's, uh, we'll recharge that, baby. I, mean, I get a yucky. d12 and a d6. Well, she looked good through the camera in my eyes. <laughs> but this screen is kind of small. And, uh... Let me see. So that was a D12, if I remember correctly. Carmen's bugging me. So. <laughs> yes, 1D12 and 1D6 plus 3. So, uh, so I'm a plus 10. I got these two dice and then, of course, my normal dice. I want the audience so, to vote as to whether she's 16 All right, so or not. a plus 10 and she was a what? 17. She's only a 17. My God, I just got to roll, roll a seven, 7 with these three you can dice. You can roll a 7. Let's do this. Um. Yep, Unless I think you've that's... you've got a luck stone. Oh, I do, don't I? Yeah. Reveal this card to add two to your check. Boop. So that's a uh, plus 12. I just got to roll a five then. Oops. Oh, there you go. You're halfway there. Oh, she is so totally dead. All right. So Bye -bye. she is done. Now let's see if I can close this location. And this says it requires succeed at a charisma or diplomacy six check. All right. So charisma or diplomacy six. My charisma. Ugh is a d6 plus two. So I get a d6. I will reveal my greater luck stone again. So I just need to roll a two with this. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. And there we go. There you go. All right, it is done. It's this location closed. is closed. Yes. So we'll just put these cards over there. Does this have any closing thingy on it? Nope, it doesn't. No. So we'll flip that over. And uh, I'm going to actually shuffle that weapon into you know, I don't know if I want to or not. Um, I think I'll just leave it on the bottom at the moment. Okay, Kermit, your turn. And blue, the blessing of Farazma. Yes. Farazma. All right, this is a traitor. He's a combat 11. Before the encounter, discard a random ally from your hand. Well, dang it. Bye-bye, <laughs> uh, Shalula, or whatever your name is. You Take got it a discard her, too. Hey, you can use your staff for minor healing just to immediately get just her back. Just to get there. her back, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to put my discard pile here because I don't know it's where fine. else to put it. Okay, so he's a combat 11. That's not going to be too shabby. That's going to be pretty easy. So I'm going to beat him up. Dagger plus one. I mm, get my D4. dexterity. Here's your D4. My D4. And you can also um, recharge something. Let's see. Uh, that gives me a plus four. So... Well, then you got your snake skin too. I have to roll a seven. So now I have to roll a six with these two dice. Um, I could just recharge my staff of minor healing. Why not? Yeah. Well, recharge that. Give myself a D6 plus one. So then that So now I have to roll a six with these three dice. I like your chances. I do like my chances. I like your You're chances. You're going down, traitor. Go, ninja. Mm -hmm. Go, ninja. That's what Go. You get. Bam. Okay. That's what you get for taking my, <laughs> my archer girl. My stuff. All right. Okie dokie dokie dokie, it is my turn. I don't know where I want to go. I'm thinking I might just go here now. The uh, academy. Uh, I get a bunch of spells. Spells don't do jack for me. Intelligence, arcane sex. That stinks. I don't know. I might just head over here and just get started. The halls of lust or whatever. So I think I will. I'm just going to zing on over here. Iron so. cages the of lust. Iron cages of lust, baby. So... All right, let's see what happens. Flip uh, the potion of energy resistance. And it says, banish this card, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? It's uh, intelligence craft four. My intelligence is a D6, I believe, isn't it? Yep, it's a D6. Well, let's just see if I get it. Oh, yeah, by the way, and I could reveal this, which adds two. So, therefore, I did get this. What does this do, anyways? Banish this card and choose a character at your location. Reduce acid, cold, electricity, or fire damage dealt to that character by four i can't i don't know what am i gonna do with this i don't have any room for it in my hands so i don't want it don't even worry about it so all right that is the end of my turn Woo. blessing of the gods all right let's see it's a blessing of the gods that's Woo. right you just automatically get it i automatically get it and i can discard it to explore my location so i think i'll just do that all right all right Ready? let's do this again a scorching ray ah um, it's an Intelligence Arcane 6. Uh, it's a spell, and I don't need it, and my intelligence is really low. So <laughs> goodbye, Scorching Ray. My intelligence is a D4, so that's not going to happen. Um, so, yeah, yeah, all right, that's it. 
One thing that I just noticed that Carmen was forgetting to do is listed right here on the card in plain English, and it says when you succeed at a check, recharge a card. Carmen, you've succeeded at two checks, and you have not recharged Should any. I recharge my cards I, now? I think you should. Um, the dagger probably could be recharged from when you fought that last guy. And my sage. And I guess the sage. I don't know exactly what... Oh. She would not have been in your hand, which means one of these two would have been. Oh, I see. Do you understand what I'm saying? You would not have had the bow, you would not have had the sage, but you would have had those three. Yeah. Uh, I'll recharge the snakeskin tunic, I guess. Well, that could have affected as well on something. Oh, I don't well. know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and recharge it. And then just draw two new cards, and then that'll get you caught up and fixed correctly. So, All right. Flippity flip. We going to flip. Hey, it's another one of them bad boys. Man, I get all the ladies. The bad part is I don't have the thingy-ma-bob, so... That's a problem. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, we'll just go through this whole rigmarole. We're going to use the Impaler of Thorns this time for your combat check. Reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die plus 1d8 plus 2. You may additionally discard this card to reduce the difficulty to defeat the Bane until the end of the turn. If you aren't proficient with weapons, blah, 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 blah. So I'll get 1d8 uh, plus 2. So let's get my... I could have had a d8. So that's a plus 2. And then I will recharge it and I will get the plus... So it's basically like a plus four, uh, plus five, plus six, so plus 13. So at the moment, uh, with the D10 and a D8, I would have to roll a four. So, and I did. Yeah. So she did. All right, so that's another one down, but here's the problem. This is going to be next to near impossible for me. Succeeded a Charisma or Diplomacy 12 check. Um, I do not have any blessings in my hand either. Now I do have this, and I uh -huh. will roll a D6. And I get plus two. So I have plus four with a D6. You have plus four. I can give you this blessing, which would let you roll two D6s. So it'd be two D6s with a plus four. So I'd have to roll an eight with two D6s. I, I kind of like those odds. All right. Let's so do it. I'm so I'm going to discard that blessing. Let's try this. Come on, man. So I got to just roll a, was it an eight? I need to roll an eight with these two because I've got this. I've got a plus two. Yeah. So uh -huh. let's do it. Come on. Eight, baby. Eight, baby. Eight, baby. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> So this location is closed. Wow. So bam, baby, I am rolling through this. Do I got to do everything or in path Pathfinder Adventure Card Game? Module. Tim, do everything. That's what it translates into. And the blessing All right. of the gods. Well, wait, wait, well, wait, wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait. I have wait, wait. a revelation quill. Bury this card to examine the top five cards of a location deck and put them back in any order. Which Ooh. one do we want to do? Well, this academy's full of spells. We don't need spells. We don't need spells. Um, and it says on your first encounter, if you do not encounter a spell, that you get to uh, uh, explore twice. So if we like find five spells or something, we get to put them all at the bottom, and then we know that we could find uh, it. Is. Well, it's put them back in any order. So. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, so... Well, hmm. you have yeah. one, two, three, four, five cards left in your location. Five cards left. Let's so. just do this one, then. All right, let's do okay, this. Okay, you ready? Uh -huh. So, a, a vicious trident. It's it's okay. So it is the uh, henchman again. Right. All right, but we do have this trident here, which is a strength melee twelve. Um, it's a plus one for your for your combat check. We're gonna oh gosh, card, I would love to have this. All um, right, but I can't get it. No, you can't. So here's what I would like to do. Ooh, uh, put it on top. And then I'll go to the other location. Well, that's, well, yeah, I was going to say, and then if you want, leave her I'll next. I'll her second. Right, right. Now, the thing is, this is a Wisdom Perception 12. I, I There's no way in the world I'll get that. Oh, okay. Um, uh, well, I'll move to this location temporarily, well, and I, then I'll go back over there. Well, hang on now. Settle down. What about this Elven Chain shirt? Would you need this at all? Reveal this to reduce combat damage dealt to you by one. Banish to reduce all damage dealt to you to zero. If you're proficient with light armors, well, bury this card instead. I'm not real happy with my armor, but I can only hold one. So I don't want to get rid of it either. So I guess that's not going to happen. Okay, well, so. what if we did something to where, you understand what I'm saying? That where you could still stay here and then um, encounter don't. something else, like maybe the skeleton horde. Why even. would I do that? Because what I'm saying is, is that then... then uh, um, then I can just swing over, get the Vicious Trident, and then you can fight her because you've got the... Uh, go to your cards, hon. Yeah. You've got this. I've got that, which adds a die to a perception check. And then I also have... Where is it? Boy, I'm terrible with this camera. I'm really sorry, guys. I have perception plus two, so I would get a plus three on my perception check. 
plus the uh, extra die. So oh. that's a pretty good deal, but I don't... Why can't I just go over here for one turn and then swing back? <sighs> because what if you encounter the the, uh, the the villain? Then it kind of screws everything up. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fine then. So I'm going to put stay over here. Skeleton Horde on top. All right. Because you can just basically um, avoid it. Evade and it. It has yeah, to yeah. be an open location. I'll come over and get the Vicious Trident. Then you fight her with me there with you. Make All sense? Right. Uh -huh. All right. So here we go. Ready? Do your Skeleton th Horde. <laughs> I evaded it. Look Gone. at that. That's uh, it. That's it. That's the end of my turn. All right. And then what I will do is I will swing over to here. And I'll see if I could pick this up. Now, that's going to be a strength melee 12. I mean, this ain't a guarantee. Um, but let's see. Uh, I will use this. And I do get a plus 7, so that's a 9. And I'll roll my d10. So, uh, 10, 11. I got it. Oh, so, good. Yeah, because that added 2. I've got 7, 8, 9, 10. I needed a 12. Uh, what? No. What? If it added 2, then you're at 9. 10, 11, 12. Okay. Yes. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You were counting to 10 on your luck stone, you goof. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is I got 12. That's I all that matters, 12. okay? <laughs> uh, so, anyways, that'll end my turn. <laughs> and poo -poo, the blessing of Norgenberger. And, of course, <laughs> it is the sister... Sister. Alu Demon Sister. The Alu Demon is immune to electricity, fire, and poison traits. Well, guess what? I have the cold trait, so ha ha, joke's on you. Succeed in Arcane, yeah, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Um, if undefeated, the Alu Demon deals no damage. Instead, bury a blessing of your choice from your hand, okay? If defeated, you may immediately attempt to close. That's what I am looking forward to. All right. So I'm gonna use my frost longbow plus one, which gives me a dexterity. And my strength die plus one. I may additionally discard this card to add another d6 with a cold trait. I am going to do that. Ooh. Boom, baby. So that's discarded. Tim's going to give me his little bonus die. D4 with a plus one. Plus one. So this is what I've got. What do I have to roll? A you 17. Would... Right. Uh, I, I gave you plus one. And then you got plus one from the Frost Longbow. From long the boat. Frost Longbow plus itself. Plus when you... Plus, I get a uh, yes. plus three. So that's five, so you'd have to roll so a 12 five. with those. A 12 with these? Oh, yeah. I like your chances. All right, there. let's not waste a blessing. Do you want to just use a blessing just to add insult to injury? Might as well. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking I might need the blessing to do the perception check. Uh, well, I've got a blessing, too, that could help with that. So. Um... Okay. Why don't you... Here, I'll use my blessing of Calistra. I'm gonna right now? Part, yeah, All I right. will use the blessing of Calistra. That's going to give me D12. another d12. There you go. All right. What did we decide I had to roll? Uh, you need to roll. Just 12? roll those dice, and you're going to roll 13. like a 30, so don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Got so it. So that's more She's than She's dead. Okay, so now we need to succeed at a wisdom or perception 12 check. Okay, so let's go over here, and we'll see. My wisdom is a D6 plus 1 plus 2, so I get a plus 3. Okay, so there's... A D6 plus 3. A D6 plus 3. My magic spyglass adds a die. So that so gives that's me... another D6. Two D6s plus 3. I have to get a 12. And then you've got another one because why don't you just use that? And I will use that. It will roll three D6s. So this is going to So get you need to roll a 9 with all three of these. Discarded. Oh, you know what? I, I should have used my blessing for the combat check. Oh, yeah, check. because you could... Well, I would have been able to... Uh, why don't you do that? That doesn't matter. You need recharge, recharge it. it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we'll just say I used mine this time. For this. To, uh, right, yeah. right. Okay. Regardless, we would have both used one. So. And then, oh, let's see. What was I supposed to do? Um, reveal. So I don't even have to get rid of it. Okay. Now, yeah, okay. Let's do this. Stop. Oh, okay. I was about to say, you probably could have... No, no. The you, sage? No. Does she not add nothing? Yes, she adds to an, a wisdom check. But this is the thing. See what this card says. It says, succeed at a wisdom or perception 12 check. So I'm thinking I need to choose one of them. You do choose one. I just yeah, wanted yeah. to make sure that we chose the right one. That's all. Oh, so right. We it did. doesn't matter. You ended up rolling a uh, 16, so we're good. No, I had already uh, taken that into consideration, okay, I and know. I chose the spyglass. I so, all right. Know. That's all it. Right. We closed the Fantastic. location. So this one's closed as well. It does say on closing, you may put any of your buried cards back into your hand. You oh. don't have any buried yes, cards. Yes, I do. Oh, you do? I do. And as a matter of fact. And it goes into your it hand. It is the revelation oh quote. Oh, my God. That's awesome. I'm yes. going to be able to examine the top five cards again. That is sweet. All hey, right. your turn's still going. Can you not just now use that immediately? 
my turn is still why is my turn still going? Uh, oh wait, yeah, because it says any any location. Yes. Yeah, so so go all ahead right, and use let's it now, do this, and we'll examine the top five well, cards of this. Look, it's gonna get buried again. So ah, one, ha, ha. two, okay. three, four, five, and let's see what, let's see what we got here. Okay. Bunch of spells. Nice. So it is a bunch of stupid spells. Yeah. We do got a skeleton. Um, wow, it's all spells. Good God, grief. Yeah. Okay, well, here's the thing. We get to explore twice if it's... So let's just do this. Let's put him on top, and then that'll at least let us explore twice. Uh, Why is putting him on top going to let us explore twice? Read the Academy. On your first exploration, if you encounter anything other than a spell... Oh, okay, I just read it wrong when go. I first read it. <laughs> okay. All right, so my turn, right? Your turn. So we know we've got five turns without encountering the bad guys. So, uh, so this is a skeleton, guys. Let's just not even. Do I really need to roll for this? <laughs> um, I mean, he's going to be an eleven at the most. I mean, let's just not do this. All right, let's not waste our time. But I do get to explore again, which is scrying, which is an intelligence arcane. I'm not even going to worry about this. I don't want that either. Um, and I am done. So I am going to draw back up. I'm thinking, man, do I? I'm wondering if I just need to get rid of some cards. I don't really think I need all of this stuff. So... Why don't you use a, your wizard? Actually, you know what? I'm just going to keep going. So, okay, hey, hey all right. why don't you turn, leave the camera on? Because all I'm going to do is get rid of these spells. All right, so I mean, go ahead and flip your card. Yeah. And then you're just going to flip that top spell. Flip it over. Wait, wait. There I go. <laughs> yeah, now you're in the location. Frost Ray, you need to do an Intelligence. Intelligent Arcane 6. Yeah, I only have a D4. Who cares? Just bye bye. Yeah, dump All it. right, now I am going to just go ahead and discard my Sage to explore To again. explore again. Good idea, yeah. which is another spell. We know that. Wait, wait. She adds... Oh, wait. We know that the villain's in here. So yeah, it doesn't matter. We just need to... So. Just, just let's dump it. Let's just keep going. Bye-bye. All, All right, right so your turn. back to me, yes. which we know the next one's a spell again. So uh, let's flip it. We're just going to get rid of it. I don't even care. Um, now, if I wanted to, I could use my lizard. So hang on for just a second. An acid arrow. It's an intelligence arcane four. Combat check. To, yeah, we don't want to screw with this stuff. All right. Uh, I'm going to use the lizard now to um, search again. And it, ooh, holy crap. Check this out, Carmen. A ranger stash. A ranger stash. Yeah. Um, if, if defeated... Add one d4 plus one random weapons from the ranged trait with the ranged trait from the box into your hand. If undefeated, you may banish the bear. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's a dexterity disable 12. This is a barrier. All right. So dexterity disable 12. Uh, my dexterity, I get a d8 plus one. So a d8 plus one. I'll reveal this. So that's a plus three. So that would put me, I'd have to roll a nine with a D8. Yeah, to be able to get I this. don't think that can happen. Do you, ha you want to add anything or I you can't? Have can you? I to add. Well, I could do the Blessing of Gorm if I wanted to and roll two D8s. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, Is it worth it? Because you add one D4 plus one random weapons for, with the range trait. I mean, you could end up getting a pretty day going good crossbow I, or something. Yeah. I, I All right. I will uh, get rid of the Blessing of Gorm as well and add another D8. So I, right. I still need to roll a nine with these two, which is not that great, but we'll see. And oh, I rolled a three. Rolled All right. Three. Fantastic. Oh, so stinks. it does go away, though. So, All right. At least, at least I got something going, right? <laughs> I yeah, figured get rid of two cards at least. So, all uh, right, you ready? Wait, 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 whoa, wait, 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 wait. Dude, what? No, what? No, what? No, wait. What? I'm sorry. What? What? Discard this card to examine the top three cards of your location and put them back in any order. Oh, ready? Yes, let's do this. So, so uh, wait, wait. I gotta show everybody. I am discarding it. I'm really bad about forgetting. Okay, to do that, so, so okay. she is right there. That's her. Um, and it does the wand of treasure finding. Bury this card to turn. You're on your turn to examine your location deck until you find a weapon, an item, or an armor. Shuffle the location deck and put that card on top. I don't know. Uh, it sounds kind of neat, but... I don't know. It's just we already have it's so another many items, that's right? What I'm, and I, I can't do nothing and with it's, it. And it's... A wisdom perception, which so let's, I can't even do. Let's read her real quick. Put her on top. Um, this is her. This is this is the game right here. So she's immune to electricity, fire, and poison, which okay. I don't think you have that at all. Uh, succeed at an arcane or divine check 12, or you may not Use any play spells. spells. whoop de freaking do Before the encounter, succeed at a wisdom 12 check, or a random character at your location takes combat damage equal to the number of spells with the attack trait. And weapons and, in your hand. And weapons in hand, which means I could possibly take three damage. 
Uh, if undefeated, who gives a crap? Let's just do her. Let's, Let's just get her Let's do done. this. All right. All right. I do not. Well, the bad part is what? I don't have I... any uh, blessings, and neither do you. Yeah, but I've got my... Oh, I can't yeah. do D6 plus one stuff because you're at my okay. location. Let's make her the third one. You want to make her the third one? And then you do the mass cure. I'll do the wand of treasure finding, and let's maybe try to get rid of some of the junk in our hands to get some blessings. Okay, wait, hold on. What Are you going to be able to get that? Oh, it's a wisdom perception seven? I don't really care. Seven? That's not the point. The point is, is that in three turns we'll encounter but it. But I, I could possibly get this, so Fine, why don't Carmen, you put it I on top? Care. You can all get right, that. The point right. is, I'm just trying to say, let's just do three turns. So That's fine. Are you ready? Yes. So this is you. That's me. My wisdom perception is... A plus three, if we remember from earlier, and I roll a d6, so... So you just need a four. And you didn't. And I didn't so get it. congratulations. All right. <laughs> now it's your turn. What are you going to do? You well, want me to just hold the camera? Cause we... No, what I was going to tell you real quick, too, is, oh, is that... look. I need to get rid of cards. Hands, yes. Right. And you need to uh, reset now, which means you need to discard stuff that you don't think you're going to uh, use. Well, I kind of would like... I don't know. Do I... Do I really need to reduce combat damage dealt to me by no. four when my deck looks like this? No, I mean, I, seriously. I think we're in good shape. So, at this okay, stage. so we'll get rid of that. Um, okay. And I don't really need two weapons either, I guess. So, I guess I need to um, choose one and get rid of the other one. Um, uh, she doesn't have the undead trait, right? No, no, no. Uh, additionally, reduce. Uh, I get rid of the returning okay. throwing axe. Do the. No, oh. no, you think about keeping that instead? Yeah, because okay. this the returning throwing axe, I can recharge the card to add another D6. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, my belt incredible dexterity adds one to my yeah, dexterity check. I so, I think that. I'll keep that. And so, now so I will just go draw ahead and three draw back cards. Up and let's see if you got lucky and got a... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Add one die to a check. Yep, so, perfect. And another, another one. Another one. And? And another one. There we go. That's oh. exactly what we were looking for. Oh, well, for. that's non-combat dexterity, so it's not going to help me, but still. All right, so you want to just... I was like, you just want to stay on? And she turned the camera off. No, I don't I'm want to stay sorry. on. All right, so this is a mass cure. I don't care about the mass cure. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get rid of this one. Uh, my whole goal here is to get her spells is what I'm thinking. Or uh, what am I call it? Which am I call it? So, uh, yes, that. And I will get, because I can't use fire on her anyways, because I could have swore she was immune to the fire trait. So I will get rid of all those. Yes, she is. One, there's my stupid crown of charisma. Two, and three. Hey, congratulations. I didn't help worth a lick. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Hello, baby. Hi, baby. Okay, so before the encounter, it said something right there. Before the encounter, succeed at a wisdom 12 well, check. We know we can't do that. Or so. a random character at your location takes combat damage equal to the number of spells with the attack trait and weapons in your hand. Okay, okay. so I um, have only one weapon And in I've my only hand. got two, so the worst we're going to take is two. So why don't we say random character, you are, here, look at the die. You are uh, evens and I'll be odds, okay? Okay, let's do this. So it is you, or it's no, you. I was odds. Okay? It's you. So I but will it, take... it says uh, weapons in your hand, so I think you only take one no, damage. No, no, I think in your hand means the person that is going to be taking the damage. All right. So I have two weapons. Yep. Now I've got this here to, uh, is it combat damage? Is it listed as combat damage? Uh, yes, it is listed as yes, combat damage. Yes, it is. So it's combat damage. I will just recharge this, and bam, there we go. We're good. So Okay, so she has a 25. So I've got... That's my plus one. My returning throwing axe gives me dexterity plus one d8 plus one. I may additionally recharge to add another d6. So let's get these dice. My dexterity. And then I'll give you a d4. Uh, and a d8. Okay. okay. So that's plus two plus five at this point. Five. What else do I have? <laughs> I've got my blessing. To add one die to a check, so I'll That's add another, another D12. D12. So there we go. That's what I've got. Let's do it. Plus five. All right. All right. Knock her out. I got to get 20. I've got to roll a 20 with these. You can do it. Uh, three, 13. Bam. Right there. You got it already. Woohoo! All right. So this bye one bye. is completed. All right. Let's see. Uh, this is nothing. We're done. Mm -hmm. Now, it does say here that uh, each character gains a power feat. 
So let's look over Power at your feet. card over here. Let's bring the camera over and take a look at it. You're bringing my card over. Uh, I know. You weren't moving. So <laughs> so you get to check one off, and so do I. Yes. Uh, I know exactly which one I'm going to go for. Right yeah. here, um, instead of just adding one D to the D4, um, I could do a plus two. So whenever yeah. I'm at your location, you add one D4 plus two instead. So that's what okay, I'm going to do. Okay, well, for. I'm actually thinking I'm going for something similar um, on my card. It's... Uh, add one d6 plus one, and I'm thinking I'm just gonna go with a plus two. Yeah, easy, yeah. Right? I mean, uh, the other thing I could do, I could do my hand size up one, yeah. possibly. So. I don't know. I, I and I thought that too, but I, I think I'd rather just go with the plus because it, it just uh, five cards seems to be working fine. I don't know. Yeah. Um. So I think I'll go with the plus two because that's pretty sweet. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks. Bye bye.